going on guys in this video we are going to see how to solve a system of differential equation using elimination here we have a two different differential equations and all of them are with functions of t and here you can see we have x prime of t 3x of t minus 4y of t and a constant and the first thing we have to do in this kind of problem is uh, we have to separate the functions of t the first one we are going to have is x prime and if i move this functions of t to this side of the equation this is going to become minus 3x and this is going to become plus 4y is equal to 1 and the second one is going to be y prime minus 4x plus 7y is going to be equal to 10t okay now we have two different equations now after that what we are going to do is when we have derivative we are going to replace this one with d d is d means take derivative so in, instead of this we can write it as d minus 3 times x so when you multiply this one back you will get dx dx mean take the derivative of x one time and if you have d square x that means take the derivative of x two times that is x double prime right since we have x prime this is just d d minus 3 times x plus 4y is equal to 1 and then this is going to be negative 4x and then we have y prime plus 7y instead of that we can write it as d plus 7 times y okay that's going to be equal to 10t now since we are trying to do the elimination what we are going to do is first we can eliminate the x values to eliminate x i'm going to multiply this one by 4 and this one by d minus 3 and if you do that you will get 4d minus 3 x and uh, plus 4y is equal to 1 and here you go you're going to have negative 4d minus 3x okay and here we other thing is going to be just d plus 7 and when since we are trying since we are multiplying everything by 4 i should multiply everything by 4 so this is going to be 4d minus 12 actually so this is 12 Okay, this one becomes 4d minus 12 and times x and plus 4y is equal to 1 and if I do this for this one d times negative 4x that's going to be negative 4d neg negative 4d let's keep the x outside so this is going to become negative 4d and uh, we are going to have negative 4 times 3 that's going to be positive 12 okay so this is going to become positive 12 times x okay then here we have d plus 7 times d minus 3 times y is equal to 10 t times d minus 3 i should do the same thing same thing here i have to multiply this 1 by 4 that's going to become 4 and this is going to become 16 okay so this is our two sets of equation and you can see that when we add these two together this first term cancels each other because that's the purpose that's the purpose of multiplying this one by 4 and this one by d minus 3 in that way this is since this is negative and this is positive this is going to cancel each other so we will end up with this one and when we add them together this is going to give us 16 y plus d plus 7 times d minus 3 times y is equal to 4 plus 10 t d my or let's write d minus 3 front so this is going to be d minus 3 times 10 t and here we have 16 y and if you multiply these two together d times d that's going to be d square and then uh, d times negative 3 that's going to be negative 3 d 7 times d that's going to be 7 d so 7 plus negative 3 that's going to be 4 so this is going to be 4 d and 7 times negative 3 that's going to become negative 21 times y is equal to 4 plus and here d and if you multiply this one by 10 t d means take derivative if you take derivative of 10 t that's going to be just 10 and this negative 3 times 10 t that's going to become negative 30 t okay now we have this one 
and uh, now we can multiply this one with y 16 y remains plus d square y so this means take derivative of y twice so this means y double prime and here 4d times y so d take derivative of y one time so that's going to be 4 times y prime minus 21y is equal to 4 plus 10 that's going to be 14 minus 30t so this is what we get by multiplying each other now what we had to do is we had to solve this non-homogeneous differential equation but before I do that I had I can simplify this one furthermore because we have 16y and negative 21y and if we add them together that's going to become y prime plus 4y prime y double prime plus 4y prime minus 21 plus 16 that's going to give us minus 5 y is equal to 14 minus 30t so this is a non-homogeneous differential equation so when we have non-homogeneous differential equation we can solve it by using superposition technique that's what I'm going to do first thing is let's copy this one down here so we have y double prime plus 4y prime minus 5y is equal to 14 minus 30t so first thing is we keep, like we think this one as a homogeneous equation and then solve it so that's the first step so here instead of y double prime and everything I'm going to use the characteristic equation the characteristic is, equation is we write everything in terms of r and when you have two double prime that's going to be r square and here we are going to have four times r minus five is equal to we keep it at, we equalize this one to zero that's going to be homogeneous so first we solve it as uh, homogeneous and uh, we find the solution then we find the particular solution after that we are going to add them together that's the superposition technique and that's going to give us the general solution for this non-homogeneous differential equation now let's solve this one here you can see this is factorable when we multiply we have to get negative 5 and when we add we have to get 4 so negative 4 negative 5 ne, ne. so when we multiply we have to get negative 5 and when we add we have to get negative plus 4 so 5 and minus 1 will work so we can write it as r plus 5 r minus 1 that's going to be equal to 0 therefore r is going to be equal to negative 5 and uh, or r is going to be equal to 1 since we are getting two distinct real roots the general solution for this differential equation is going to be in this pattern y of x let's say y of h because homogeneous so y of h is going to be c1 e power negative 5 t plus c2 e power t okay so this is the homogeneous general solution now after that you can see the other side of the equation this is a linear pattern and in linear equation we know that the pattern is okay let's write this one with a different color okay, I just blue color here so for a linear equation the pattern goes like this yp is equal to a t plus b so this is the pattern right here okay and from this one what we are going to do is we are going to take the first derivative if you take the first derivative of this one that's going to give you a just a because derivative of this one is going to be zero and derivative of this one is going to be just a and if you take the second derivative of this one that's going to give you zero because if you take the derivative of constant that's going to be zero now after we find the derivative what we are going to do is we are going to plug it back in this equation so we know that uh, y double prime is 0 so this is going to be 0 and uh, 4 times y prime and y prime is a so this is going to be 4 times a and then minus 5y 5 times y is this one a t plus b so this is going to be a t plus b okay in the other side we have 14 minus 30t now what we are going to do is we are going to simplify this one 4a minus 5at plus 5 plus b is equal to 14 minus 30t now we can combine these uh, constants together so this is going to become minus 5at plus 4a plus b is equal to 14 minus 30t I write the t terms 
in front so you can see the equal coefficients so this is going to be minus 30 t plus 40 okay now here what we are going to do is we are if you if you know the parcel fraction decomposition technique the we equalize the coefficient so that's what I'm going to do you can see that here we have minus 5a in front of t and here we have 30 in front of t okay and the other terms are just uh, constants so we can equalize these two minus 5a is equal to negative 30t okay a negative forget about t because we are just equating the coefficient coefficients so this is going to be minus 5a is equal to 30 so a is going to be 6 and the second one we can equate this constants the equation, equation is going to be 4a plus b is equal to 14 and since we have we know the a already we can plug it in this equation to find or solve for b so this is going to become 24 plus b is equal to 14 therefore b is going to be equal to negative 10 divided by hmm, here uh, I think there's a mistake minus 5 at here we have 4 a 4 a okay this should be minus 5 b because when I multiply this one by minus 5 this b turns into minus 5 b right so this one is minus 5 b and here we have this one this one also minus 5 b minus 5 b and therefore this equation is going to become 4a minus 5b 4a minus 4a minus 5b is equal to 14 and we know that 4a is 24 and here we have minus 5b is equal to 14 therefore 5b is going to be 5b is going to be equal to 24 minus 14 okay so therefore b is going to be equal to 10 divided by 5 and that's going to be equal to 2 now after we find out a and b value we can plug it back it in this uh, equation so yp is going to be equal to a is this one 6 so 60 plus b is 2 so this is going to be 60 plus 2 now we have the particular solution and the homogeneous solution so now we can combine them together to find the general solution for this non-homogeneous differential equation now using superposition technique we know that general solution is going to be let's say y of t is going to be y of h plus yp and we know that y of h is this one that is c1 e power negative 5t plus c2 e power t plus the particular solution is going to be 60 plus 2 okay now we have solved for y of t so this is one of the solution we have to solve for y of t and x of t that's the solution for this this uh, this system now we have solved one system now we have to solve for x right so in order to do that I had to I had I need some space now let's get rid of this part okay let's get rid of this part so this is one solution for the next solution we are going to use this equation in our equation we have these two equations and in the first equation we have two functions with like x but we, uh, if we have one function that makes everything easier so I am going to use the second one and I am going to rearrange this one in terms of x so if you rearrange this is going to become 4x is going to be equal to y prime plus 7y plus 10t okay and we know that y is equal to this one so y prime we, we have to find the derivative of this one if you take the derivative this is going to become minus 5 c1 e power negative 5t plus c2 e power t and if you take the derivative of 6 that's 60 that's going to be just 6 and if you take the derivative of 2 that's going to be 0 so this is going to be the first derivative now we can plug it back here but before I do that if you notice here we have 4x so we only need x so to get rid of this 4 we divide everything by 4 
this is going to become x is equal to 1 over 4y prime plus 7 over 4y plus 10t okay now let's plug the values so y prime we found out that is this one 1 over 4 times y prime is going to be negative 5 c1 e power negative 5t plus c2 e power t plus 6 and I continue the bar, this one 7 over 4 and we know the y already that is this one that's going to be c1 e power negative 5t plus c2 e power t plus 6t plus 2 and after that we have this one 10 this uh, 10 over okay I divide everything by 4 but I didn't divide this one by 4 so if I divide this one by 4 this is going to become 5 over 2 so this is going to be 5 over 2 t okay now we can simplify this one furthermore like we can add the like terms and if you multiply this uh, minus 5 with 1 over 4 this is going to become minus 5 over 4 c1 e power negative 5 t and here we have 7 over 4 c1 e power negative 5 t so 7 over 4 plus minus 5 over 4 that's going to give us 2 over 4 c1 e power negative 5 t so that's going to be 1 over 2 because 2 over 4 is 1 over 2 so this is going to become 1 over 2 c1 e power negative 5 t and the second one 1 over 4 times c2 e power t that's going to be 1 over 4 c2 e power t and here we have 7 over 4 c2 e power t and if we add them together that's going to be 8 over 4 c2 e power t that's going to become 2 c2 e power t because 8 over 4 is 2 so this is going to become 2 c2 e power t and we have 60 so 6 times 7 that's going to be 42 42 divided by 4 that's going to be 21 divided by 2 e power t so this is going to be 21 divided by 2 e power t um that's not e power t that's t right that's t and after that we uh, multiply this one this is going to be 6 over 4 here we have 7 times 2 that's going to be 14 divided by 4 so 6 plus 4 uh, 14 plus 6 that's going to be 20 20 divided by 4 that's going to give us 5 so this is going to become 5 and here we have plus 5 over 2 t okay and uh, let's see whether we are doing everything correct okay here we have when I move this to the other side I forgot to put a negative sign okay this one should be negative this is negative 10 t so this is going to be a negative this is going to be a negative 5 over 2 and this is going to be negative 5 over 2 and negative 5 over 2 t and also we have another t term if you notice this is also t this is also t so 21 minus 5 that's going to give us 16 divided by 2 t so that's going to make this one 8 t now the final solution for is going to be x of t we are trying to find x x is our main thing okay x of t is going to be half c1 e power negative 5 t plus 2 c2 e power t and i combine these two together 21 minus 5 that's going to be 16 divided by 2 that's going to be 8 so this is going to be 8 t 8 t plus 5 and that's going to be the solution second solution now we have found out y of t and x of t that's going to be the solution for this system and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching